Okay. So to get to get this box out, the, there's two nails on the side of the box. There'll be nails. This is a two gang box, but uh, that one is just a single gang box. The nails are are kind of coming through the back side, but then they 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 come through on the edge of this and nail on. So that's how this actually got. I do have a single box with the nails on there. Look, that box in there looks just like this one. Okay, this is nailed right to the side. One up here. One down there, see? And so, I've got to get in there with the hacksaw. I'm going to get in there with the hacksaw. Right in through here. And I'm going to cut that off. And I used to do this. Uh, I had a hacksaw where you could take one side off and just, and just use one end. Or one of those small little mini ones where it sticks out of the end. But you know what? You just need the hacksaw blade. That's it. You can do it with your hands like that. And, and I know the blade, these blades are so small, it's very difficult for you to see which direction they're going, okay? But if you look on hacksaw blades, and I just noticed this the other day. Look on hacksaw blades, usually it's got a little arrow. See that right there? That's an arrow, that means, that means the uh, blade tips are going this way, which means you wanna cut that way. If I were to flip this around and try to cut, the blades are actually going the wrong direction. It would take me forever, okay? So when you hook this up into a hacksaw, I always liked, I always would squint real hard, try to see these teeth, because this one, this is 32 teeth per inch. That's TPI, uh, teeth per inch, 32. In, oh, 32, yeah, in 12 inches. 32 and so, some of them you can get 24 16 whatever I use I like to get the th the most tips on the ends uh, to cut metal and stuff okay so I know the studs over here and if you're not sure if you're you're tapping you're not quite sure you could take a nail and poke a nail into the side right on the inside so you don't mess up that's what we're trying to do is not mess up the edge of this at all. So when I put the new box in, um, it's going to cover everything, okay? And the first thing I noticed is I've got to clean off this edge just a, just a little. The sheetrock mud is going over that edge. I'm just going to use this as a saw, kind of. I want to make sure I'm not over any sheetrock mud or tape line, you know, because as I pull that out, I don't want that to, to hit something else and rip off a little bit of the sheetrock, you know. And I want to make sure this is all clean, okay. And it looks, it looks actually pretty good. This edge right here is off just slightly, and I'm just shaving that off so I can see the edge all the way around. I'm going to take my crummy, uh, where's my hammer at? What happened to my hammer? i got to find my, my hammer. Oh, I got it over here. I was hoping I didn't leave my hammer underneath the house because I've already gone down under the house one time. I've got to get enough room to get my, my blade in there. I see, it actually it feels pretty good right there. Okay, I, I don't think I need my hammer. I was going to take my screwdriver. Sometimes you have to take your screwdriver in there and kind of push this over to give it just a little bit more room and pry on it to give you a gap big enough to allow your, your hacksaw blade to go in there. We're just going to leave that in there. And now I'm going to use this just with my gloves and I'm going to cut that top nail off. That's all I'm doing here. Okay, power's off. I don't have to worry about that. You hear that? I'm hitting the nail right there because I know it's up here towards the top. You 
can do it, come on! There. Okay, got the top one. Okay, now I can kind of wedge the bottom a little, a little bit, not a whole lot. So I don't want it to mess up over here. Put that up at an angle so I can get my blade in there. Got to get that blade between the plastic and the, and the wood there. I'm feeling where the nail is. And the screwdriver tip might be in my way just a little bit. Okay. There. Right there, I know that's where the nail is. We'll keep pressure on this and pull down on it as you're going. Little short strokes, and that's all you got to do. Just keep going. Try to hang on to it. Try to go straight, because because you're going this far and trying to keep that straight without bending this blade. That's the trick, tricky part. And we'll see if you do this enough, pretty soon your, your end's gonna be dull there and then you could cut that off with some tin snips or something and then you've got a new blade here that you can keep using for stuff like this. sure how deep how thick this wall was but you know I could open up the door and check it but I could check it this way too just push this in until I hit the back and then uh, pull it out to about there I think this is a two by six wall look at that I think it's a two by six exterior walls which is which is Good. Lots of times they do just a two by four. Wall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. It's that, that wide. That's more than a two by four. Here from there, that's about five and a quarter. Two by six exterior walls. That's good. See, I don't need that anymore because this box should, this whole box should be loose now. Okay, now that both my wires are going up, that should kind of help me uh, figure out which way to take this box out. Because if you have a wire coming into the box at the bottom and the top, it's a little bit more difficult to try to get this whole thing out of there. See, but um, I'm gonna... Um, Let's see. I think I push. I think I can push the bottom down in there. Push it in, and then I can pull it. See these wires are going up inside of this, and so I can push it back and kind of take this top and grab it with my pliers. And that's. I got to be careful because I don't want to. I don't want to rip off the edge of the sheetrock, right? So. In fact, I might, I might want to shave off uh, just hardly any up here. I don't, I don't want to pull hard and have the sheetrock pop off of me. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try not to do. Uh, maybe I should, maybe I should uh, take the bottom out first and then push that in. See there's usually if you can't get it one way try it the other way. So now I've got it pushed up in the hole. See I can push it up and I can grab the, the bottom and kind of wiggle that a little and I should be able to rock it out. And I think I want to, uh, before I do that, I want to shave off a little bit of the sheetrock. I got a sheetrock saw here. 
last thing I want is for this thing to, uh, to break. And most most plastic boxes are built the same. I should be able to I should be able to get this out of there. Okay. Okay, there. That's what was happening. The the end of this had a plastic. I don't know what's going on with that. That's where the nail is. This box is slightly different than, than this other box. See, see this box here. See how where the nail goes in? The edge of this is flush. See? Well, on this box, there's a little tit. Right, right at the bottom. And had I pulled hard, um, I could have messed up the sheetrock there. I'm gonna have to be real careful when I when I take this out to not have that happen up above. Okay, so push the wires back in there to give it a little bit more slop, and now I can gently pull this down, kind of angle it this way sideways, see, and get it off of there. There, boom. That's how you're gonna do it. See? That's why I didn't want to start jerking on it. This box, are all plastic boxes created equal? Apparently not. I've never seen one like that. Look how far that that plastic and the nail head is sticking out from that edge. That is bad. That is piss poor. See, these boxes are flush. I could have had I had a box like that in there. It would have came right out, but I was careful with it. Had a little bit of a slop there. Was able to finagle that out, so everything is just fine, and I don't have to use that box anymore. That's a throwaway box there. Okay, and this is what you're going to see so far. Okay, look at that. I've got box right out of there. Well, that's what your project's going to look like so far. Nice. You're doing it.